Okay, so I'm here at 1263 Bailiwick. This is over in Hazelwood Court. You can see they're still actively building it. This is about a five minute drive from Eagles Bluff. So, you know, we're still looking at same grocery stores, um, maybe just like an extra three minutes to the interstate, nothing crazy. It's a cute little neighborhood though. Again, you've got a great front porch. Sit here, drink your coffee. Looks like we've got a light missing up here. I would do a swing on a porch like this. And you've got central, well, the newer ones, I guess, have central mail. You do have a mailbox. Way. There's a little bit of wear and tear in the paint, but that is considered normal wear and tear. Immediately on your left, you're going to have your half bath. Got standalone sink. Ah. Standalone sink. Toilet. And then they have a curtain over the window for privacy. Okay. Walk into the living room. Your coat closet, uh, not very big, but hang a few things in there. It looks like they're using it as a utility closet and for a little bit of extra storage. Got gas logs in the fireplace. Actually, this one might be electric. This one's actually electric, so electric fireplace, very nice. Set some nice ambiance. Very open concept. Nice island. Tons of cabinet storage. Okay. Entry. over the sink. We've got a giant sink too, just one big one instead of the compartmentalized one, which I never really thought about until I went from a compartmentalized sink to just one big one, and I love it. Okay, so you've got another coat closet over here, way more substantial in its size. Um, you can tell it's actually where they use for their coat closet and shoe storage since it's right next to the garage. into the garage. We've got this light switch taped. Not sure why. It's like the sticky trap. At least over there hasn't been changed in a while. I can see how full it is and I don't want to see what's in it. At least you can see they have a pest treatment. Oh, baseboards could use a good cleaning. So. weathering on the deck. Really large backyard though. So I, 
you don't get the complete seclusion in the back. Um, they, I'm not sure if they're gonna end up building back there or not. Um, you just have to see in time. Siding could use a good power wash. Okay. Well, you can see, um, they do have a dog. So this is actually one of my friend's houses. So just a fresh coat of paint, made me some magic eraser. She works over at a Veterans Lending Group. Okay. Got a little golden retriever. And he's very cute. Okay. So go upstairs. You can just see. So typically with paint touch up, since they did buy this as new construction, the builder will usually leave extra paint. We could see if they still had it. Um, as long as you get them done quickly uh, the paint should still match but after a few years the original paint won't match the existing paint since it's been exposed to sunlight and all the fun things so at the top of the landing straight ahead you're gonna have guest room number one which is currently being used as an office Decent sized closet just to, goes in a little further than the doorway. Well, once again, just a few inches. Nothing crazy. Directly across from this, you're going to have the guest bath up here, single vanity, and a shower tub combo. My hair clip. I was just smacking this thing. And we have a linoleum floor in here. Okay. At the end of the hall, you're gonna have a bonus room. You got two steps down. They're using it as a guest room right now. Looks like a little media room as well. You can see that he stores a lot of his military stuff up here. And this looks up to the front of the house. Okay. Going back down the hall, directly across the hall from the bonus, you're gonna have laundry. Okay, and above it, you're gonna have your attic. going to the right of the laundry these doors uh don't want to shut all the way it's usually an issue with the ball up top um it's, i think i gave one of our friends a bottle of wd-40 and they were able to fix it in like two seconds so so we had that issue with our old pantry going down the other way we've got a linen closet and then we've got guest room number two once again size looks into the backyard this one actually has a pretty good size closet it might even be a whole five feet of hanging space goes in quite a ways on this side Right. Last but not least, you have the ensuite. Really good size. Single vaulted ceiling. Okay. 
Yeah, get some private roof access up here. Ensuite closet. over onto the side and she actually just did um she just changed the mirrors the sconces and did this little accent wall behind the vanity super cute so you got double vanity separate garden tub The standalone shower, just fiberglass insert, nothing crazy. I love this little accent wall, I think it's so cute. Okay, and then here you do have a true tile. I actually took the same tile and put it up on the backsplash of the tub. Just a recap of upstairs since there was a lot more happening up here. Stairwell directly to your left, you're gonna have laundry, ensuite, guest room one, linen, and then to the right, guest room two, bonus, bathroom. Okay, and that's it for this house.